Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Today, we are going to learn how to export our data. As in the last lecture, we learned how to import from Excel and CSV. We might want to learn how to export to these two formats as well. You know, if everyone sticks to the same data formats, our lives will be a lot easier. So keep the consistency, okay? Long story short, let's do this. Here is the code that I used in the last lecture. Basically, we imported the same dataset from both CSV and Excel and stored them in the variables. If you do not understand any of this syntax, please take a few seconds to look at the last lecture. No rush needed, just want to make sure you learned the useful things. All right. To export your data to a CSV file and store it on your hard drive, you call the function to CSV. Yes, it's that easy. Data dot to underscore CSV. And of course, the file path. Here, I put it on the D drive. So D out dot CSV. Don't forget the extension. That's it. Run this command and data has been exported. Let's check it out. I'm going to navigate to my D drive and here it is. Out.csv. Fire it up. And you can see the contents are stored safe and sound. Uh, yes? What is that? Oh! You notice that there's a new column at the beginning. We don't have it in the original data. This column is actually created by the index from the pandas data frame. Pandas does not want to accidentally drop your information, so by default, it also includes the index to your exported data. If this is not what you want, let's close this Excel first. You can turn this feature off by stating explicitly that index equals false. Rerun this and open the file again. Here, the index column is gone. To export to Excel, it's exactly the same process except you have to use the Excel function instead of the CSV function. So data dot to underscore CSV. I'm sorry, Excel. The path is D hello dot XLSX, which is the extension of Excel. And we can also return off index option by index equals false. Run this. And in a folder, you can find Excel just like what we expected. That's all for this lecture. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next lecture.